crew member on the USNS ship Mercy has become infected with COVID-19, but the case will not affect its mission. CBS 2's Tina Patel is in San Pedro with more on what's next for the patient and the ship. This week, the Navy posted a photo of a patient being brought on board the USNS Mercy to be treated for a non-COVID-19 illness. But soon, a patient will have to be taken off the ship after testing positive for COVID-19. That patient is a medical treatment facility crew member. The Navy is not releasing details about the crew member or who they might have come in contact with, only saying that the person is currently isolated aboard the ship and will be taken to an onshore facility to self-monitor for severe symptoms. A Navy spokesperson says the positive case is not affecting the Mercy's ability to take in patients, but it does seem to indicate how widespread the virus is now in Southern California. Yesterday, health officials announced 29 more people have died in L.A. County, bringing the total to 198. The governor is no longer waiting for the federal government to help with supplies for medical workers. He announced that the state signed its own contract to get 150 million N95 masks each month from China. As for ventilators, he says right now local hospitals are OK, and that's why 500 ventilators are being taken from the state stockpile and being sent to places like New York and Illinois, where the need is greater. The governor says he's optimistic that efforts to flatten the curve here are working, but he says Californians can't let their guards down yet. The curve is bent, been bending in the state of California. It's also stretching. And at any moment, if we pull back, you can see that curve go back up. Tina Patel, CBS 2 News.